All right, so welcome back. Today in this video, we're gonna be looking at materials and we are continuing um, our practice problems uh, in the materials section of the Civil FE exam review. We're gonna be looking at test methods and specifications of metals, concrete, aggregates, asphalt, and wood. Um, so got a few practice problems for you, so let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so what is one way tip what is one typical way to increase concrete workability? All right, so we are given that it's concrete and we're trying to increase workability. That just means you want to be able to move the concrete um, and be able to, you know, work with it before it pretty much clumps together and is no longer able, uh, you know, it kind of sets and it's, you know, you can't keep working with it, moving it around. Okay, so concrete workability, I don't know, slump testing, air entrainment, adding super plasticizers. I don't know any of this, so I'm gonna search concrete. Maybe I could just do workability. See if something comes up. Workability, two things come up. Workability, workability. All right, water content affects workability. I don't see an answer for that but that affects it. However, an increase in water without a corresponding increase in cement reduces the concrete strength. Super plasticizers are the most typical way to increase workability. Okay. So adding a super plasticizer is the way to increase workability. So see came straight from the handbook, pretty straightforward. All right, number two, which test measures the size of a dent on a material from a known load? All right, so we wanna find a test that measures the size of a dent. They're gonna, like, I don't know these different tests, your it would be beneficial if you memorize these or knew these but i'm just gonna look up the hardness is there a hardness test no hardness let's go through 10 options and you want to measure uh, the size of a dent on a material from a known load. Hardness, hardness. Measured by, okay, hardness. Hardenability, resistance to penetration. Measured by denting a material under known load and measuring the size of the dent. All right. Hardness test it is. We could also look up what impact test is. All right, impact test does come up. Okay, the impact test is used to find energy required to fracture and identify ductile, ductile to brittle transition. Okay. So it's dealing with energy brittleness and temperature all right brittleness brittle brittle materials really didn't find anything there so 
or none of the above. So that gives you a little bit more in depth about some of these different test, test methods. So you can just search them. Typically you'll find what you're looking for. All right. Um, number three says, a metal specimen undergoes a tensile test and the resulting stress strain curve is analyzed. Which region of the curve corresponds to the material undergoing plastic deformation uh, without a significant increase in stress? So again, this is like a prior knowledge or you need to to have a little bit more um, knowledge on this. So, okay, so it's undergoing the tensile test, all right? Um, and the resulting stress strain curve is analyzed. Which region of the curve corresponds to the material undergoing plastic deformation without a significant increase in stress? Okay, so when you have st a stress strain curve, it's a stress it's a strain, this is your object. Oh, that's pretty cool. So that's kind of what happens on this. And I've done an example on this already. So the elastic region. Okay, so which region of the curve corresponds to the material undergoes undergoing plastic deformation without the significant increase in stress? So it's not an increase, not a significant increase in stress there. Um, kind of flattens out and then it picks back up. And so is it the elastic region? Well, that's the elastic region is this region. So you're increasing in uh, stress and strain pretty rapidly, so no. Uh, and this is prior knowledge, like you gotta know this stuff. The yield point, that is my yield point at that location that I pointed at, so yes. Uh, the ultimate uh, tensile strength. That would be here, ultimate, and it's still increasing or decreasing in stress. Um, so no there. And, um, is it happen at the necking? So the necking would be from here. Whoa. Okay, so the necking would be from The necking and the fracture happen from here to here. And so that's again, no. So where there's barely any change in 
stress or strain happens at that yield at that yield point or b all righty so this concludes the test methods section of the materials um, review in the next video we will be looking at physical and mechanical properties so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video